why can't you make a bike out of flowers? Because the petals fall off. And this is Balloon Animal Lesson number 92. Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister, and this time I want to teach you how to make a balloon orchid. How cool is this thing? It only uses three balloons, but it's an advanced design. I believe in you, you can do it. Let me show you how. For this design, I'll be using three 160s. I'm using a dark green 160 for the stem, and two light purple 160s for the flower. I'm using 160s instead of 260s because orchids look delicate, like a 160. We're going to start with our stem. Get your green 160 and inflate it almost all the way, but leave about a one inch tail. Let some air out and tie. Give the balloon a good squeeze and a stretch. We're gonna start by making three very small flower petals. They should be about one inch in diameter. So there I have one, I need two more. And there I have my three small flower petals. This is the base that we're gonna attach the flower onto later. Next, we're gonna go back about four inches, fold the balloon over like this, pinch the top, making sure all the air comes out of it. And then when you let the air come back up, it'll bend the balloon. We want this so it looks like the flower is sticking forward. Now we want to go down about another four or five inches, twist a section there, and we need two pinch twists. The way I like to do this is I make two small bubbles, each the same size, roughly. I'm gonna twist this seam here into this seam here. And then I'm gonna roll the rest of the balloon through that seam. And that gives me my two pinch twists. We're almost to the end here. So what we wanna do is we wanna push the air all the way to the end and give it a good stretch. Be careful, cause that can pop on you if you're not careful. I'm gonna fold it over and I'm gonna twist off the bottom four inches. So you can see I've twisted off the bottom right here. I'm now gonna twist this seam here into these two pinch twists. I can now position this so it looks like this. This gives me one really big leaf because orchids have really big leaves. I can now shape the big leaf by folding it in half like that taking it and massaging it gently. And that gives me a nice sort of leafy shape to it. Pinch twister on the other side. The bottom of the balloon is where the person would hold on to it. Now we have the flower, we can attach it onto there. But we need to make our flower. So let's do that next. Get your other two 160s out for your flower. I'm using light purple. Inflate them both two thirds of the way. After you tie them, make sure you give them a good squeeze and a stretch. Once you have them inflated, you're ready to start making your flower. We're gonna start by taking the balloon and folding it over like we're gonna make a small flower petal, but instead of twisting it, we're gonna pinch the top, causing it to bend like we did with the stem, and we're gonna twist it, but we're not gonna twist the knot into it. Next, we wanna make a very small pinch twist, that half inch bubble, fold it over, pinch it, pull it, twist it. So I have something that looks like that. Now with my other balloon, I want to do that bendy thing again. So I'm going to fold it over, pinch the top, and then twist it. So I end up with a part like that. That should be about the same size as that other one. I'm gonna twist this seam here into that pinch twist. So you should be somewhere along here. You have these two things and the pinch twist. Now we're gonna make a very small flower petal. You can use either balloon for this. Make sure it's soft. And I'm gonna position the pinch twist in between those two parts that are sticking out. So you should have something that looks like this. This is the front of our orchid. Now I'm gonna twist two small bubbles on each of these. So you can see those two bubbles there, one, two. I'm gonna twist this seam here into this seam here. This will give us enough distance so that we can make the next row of the petals. Give it a good squeeze and a stretch. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna make six petals. We're gonna make three small petals and three large petals. We're gonna choose one of the balloons to make the small petals out of. Fold it over. You want it just big enough where you can fit your thumb in comfortably. Give it a good squeeze and twist it off. 
I have one, now I need two more that same size. And there I have my three petals, all the same size. And they should be pretty soft. Now using the other balloon, I'm gonna make three large petals that should all be about the same size. They should be soft too. The larger ones should be large enough to where they stick out past the little ones. But they don't have to be too big. So I'm gonna go with one about that size. So now I have one, I need two more that same size. Now that I have my six petals and I have two bits of leftover balloon, I don't need these so I can pop off the ends. Wrap it around so it doesn't come undone. But don't wrap them all the way in because we're gonna use those uninflated sections to attach it onto our stem later. First, let's adjust our flower. You're gonna put the big petals in between the small ones and alternate. So it's gonna go big, small, big, small. Now that I've arranged my flower, you can see that I have it going big, small, big, small, big, small. I have my uninflated sections here on the back and I have arranged the parts that we made at the beginning. I have the two little ends that stick out with a pinch twist in the middle and the small flower petal on the bottom. My next step is to shape the petals by bending them over and giving them a gentle massage. And that'll cause them to curl just ever so slightly. I feel that this makes it look a lot prettier. Don't forget to do the one in the front. If you have trouble shaping them, next time make them a little softer. Now comes the fun part. We get to attach our flower onto our stem. Those three little flower petals we made at the beginning on our stem, we're gonna take the uninflated section on the back of our flower and wrap them into them. It doesn't have to be very tight. As you can see with mine, it's wrapped in there, but it's actually pretty loose. And there we go, one three balloon orchid. I know this is fancier than a regular flower, but it's guaranteed to impress those people that just love orchids, like my wife. So what do you guys think? Is this something you'll use? Let me know in the comments below. Also, what do you want to learn next? If you enjoyed this video, click that like button. And if you want more balloon animal lessons, check out the playlist here and subscribe to my channel. I do new balloon animal lessons every Monday. I'm Michael Flood, your balloon twister. Remember, anything can be made out of balloons, even an orchid.